Hello everyone! In this exercise, we will perform an analysis focusing on mapping urban green spaces over selected cities and calculating the green areas they cover. Understanding the distribution of green spaces in urban areas is crucial for various reasons, including environmental health, air quality, and overall well-being. For this exercise, we will utilize Sentinel-2 MSI or multispectral instrument imagery. We will select cities from Indonesia using FAO's Global Administrative Unit Layers 2015. This dataset provides cities and administrative boundaries worldwide, allowing us to extract the necessary information for our analysis. If you want, you can extract the cities of your choice from this dataset to perform the analysis. Our selected cities are Kota Chiribon, Kota Tangerang, Kota Bekasi, Kota Depok, and Kota Bogor. Our objective is to map out the green spaces for 2022. So, our chat GPT prompt will be, generate a Google Earth Engine JavaScript API code to map green spaces over selected cities. Utilize the following steps. We have used the same listing pattern we used in the previous prompt without any persona. Next, we will define the cities and datasets to use. 1. City Selection Use the predefined list of cities, including Kota Chirebon, Kota Tangerang, Kota Bekasi, Kota Depok, and Kota Bogor. Extract the administrative boundary of these cities from the following dataset. The second step will be asking ChatGPT to process Sentinel-2 images over each city. So we will write 2. Loop over cities for each city, process Sentinel-2 imagery with ID to map green spaces. Next, we will define the filters we want to apply to the image collection. 3. Image Processing Define each city's region of interest, or ROI, based on administrative boundaries. Generate a Sentinel-2 composite-free imagery for the specified date range, January 1, 2022, to December 31st, 2022. Create a composite image and scale values to zero to one. Up to this point, we have instructed ChatGPT to perform basic tasks such as retrieving data collections for selected cities and applying filters to these collections. Now, we will move forward by asking ChatGPT to display these collections on a map and to calculate the necessary index to effectively map green spaces. 4. Visualization Add the composite image to the map for visual inspection. Calculate and visualize the Enhanced Vegetation Index, or EVI. Visualize urban green space using a threshold for EVI, values greater than or equal to 0.35, with dot self mask. And display the green spaces on the map with a green color. In this prompt, we've assigned ChatGPT three tasks in a single step. First, after generating the composite, ChatGPT is instructed to calculate the Enhanced Vegetation Index, or EVI, which is crucial for accurately mapping green areas. Next, a predefined threshold is applied to this index to isolate green spaces in each city. It's important to note that these threshold values can be adjusted based on the specific requirements of the study area. Finally, we've explicitly directed ChatGPT to apply dot self mask to ensure that only the pixels representing green spaces are displayed. Without this specific instruction, ChatGPT would not automatically mask out the green areas. Next, we move to area calculations. 5. Area calculation Calculate the area of the city and urban green space. 6. Percentage calculation Calculate the percentage of green area 
compared to the total city area. 7. Printing results. Print the city name, total area, green area, and the percentage of green area. Ensure the script is concise and focuses on mapping green spaces over the specified cities. We've reminded ChatGPT to meticulously generate the script, ensuring it stays aligned with the objective outlined at the beginning of the prompt. This reminder is crucial to maintain focus and accuracy in fulfilling the specified task. Click on the Enter button to get the ChatGPT response. After the result, copy the code and paste it into the code editor like this and hit Run. Excellent! Now, we can observe the layers in the Layer section, which include selected cities, their respective enhanced vegetation index, and green spaces. Zoom into any city to verify the results with the imagery. In the console, we have the area of the city, green space areas, and percentage. By looking at the results, we can say that the urban green spaces only cover around 20 to 30 percent of the total area of any city. Now that we have completed our primary task, Let's explore the distance of green spaces from urban areas or buildings. For this, we will copy the code from the code editor and paste it into the next message of the same chat GPT window. And in the start, we will write, In the code given below, check the distance of green spaces from buildings in the selected cities. To extract buildings, Use the Open Buildings V3 polygons with this ID. Clip out the buildings in the selected cities and then display them on the map. And calculate the distance of the green space area from the buildings in each city. Hit Run and wait for ChatGPT to complete its response. Copy the code, paste it into the code editor like this, and hit Run. The results are displayed, as we can see in the Layer section. To see the buildings and the distance closely, we have to zoom in on any selected city with a more urban area like this. After the image displays, we can see that ChatGPT produced code that is nearly accurate as it has displayed the buildings separately and the distance pixels between them. We can use the Inspector tab to get the distance values. Additionally, if you want to print the distance into the console, you can modify the prompt and ask ChatGPT to print the distance separately into the console. That is all for this module. Thank you for watching.